And back to E92. And today we're gonna be replacing the roof slider due to missing the headliner. As far as you can see it right there, it's also sagging. That's kind of common problem to those cars, E90, 92, 91. And lucky for us, this project is gonna be really simple. We're starting from inside of the car, pressing the roof button, just tilting the roof, then sliding the roof back all the way, remove that little rubber piece it slides out from the glass portion. Then if we're gonna take a closer look, we have a couple T25 screws. And as you can see, and from this perspective, we're gonna be able to simply leave the glass part, be really careful, jumping inside of the car and putting the roof in a closed position. At this portion, we simply need to remove that wind diffuser pop these two springs right here. At this step, we can slide toward the front, popping the wind diffuser out of the groove. That should be pretty easy. Perfect. Flip it over, lay it on the top. So the next step is gonna be actually removing uh, the lead. And this is the little shim that we need to remove. As far as you're gonna be using the pin tool, going to have a little groove that you can slide a pin tool in and repeat it with the four corners. The piece at the front was no problem, but the rear one didn't have enough space for getting it out. So I remove another piece from the front passenger side and then twist the lead. Also, if we're going to take a look inside, you can see a whole bunch of dust that basically that foam and been stuck to the shelf. You want to clean it up. In this portion, I remove the sliding foot because whoever was removing the lead slightly bent the rear pieces. Slide it the same way. Boom, it's working. So in the same way, we're going to install the one piece, go to this corner. Trying to shift the whole assembly down since those legs are a little tighter than the other one. Okay, and they totally click in. So now we wanted to push down the clips. Okay, we are good here. Going with the shims. At this stage, we wanted to install the diffuser and the same way, getting that click and sliding it in as well as make sure we also have the click in there. Of the key and trying to open the top. Great. So that's what we wanted to have. Slide in the shelf and bring in the top. The last step is to put the sunroof back and align it. First, to fish and thread all the bolts loose. Second, close the roof. Third, make sure that the glass is sitting flat to the roof of the car. I use some shims to set the piece on the right spot. Then the last step is tie the bolts. Then press the roof button and voila, it did work. With that portion, usually go for the roof, for the lead first. And the rubber piece simply slides into the slot. So for that procedure, it's not necessarily to remove the weather seal. But I did it because I had the other project. If you also interested in, check it out the link description below for the video on how to remove the headliner. Everything is working as it should. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe my channel and leave a comment below. I'll see you next one.